Hey there, Brandon Unofsky here from MyWPExpert.com, and today I want to show you how to use one of my favorite plugins, Gravity Forms, to build your own product order forms. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've already installed Gravity Forms on my site. Um, if you haven't, go ahead and do that, but you'll see it right here where it says Forms. And once you have it installed, you can go to Add-ons. And from within add-ons, you can access all the different Gravity Forms add-ons. So you'll see things for Aweber, for MailChimp, FreshBooks. Uh, today, we're basically going to be um, talking primarily about the different payment methods. So you can see there's different versions of PayPal. They also have some for Stripe. You'll also find it for Authorize.net. And you'll even find it for some other plugins and other payment processors um, externally. But I went ahead and already installed PayPal because I'm pretty sure that's what most of you are going to be using. And once you install the PayPal add-on, what you're going to want to do is go back to Forms. And you're going to want to go to Settings. And you want to click on PayPal. And you're going to want to follow the steps here to set up, um, set up PayPal with Gravity Forms. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and create your form. So I'm going to go ahead and create a quick form to show you. So I'm going to click on New Form. I'm going to give it a title. So we'll just call it Test Order Form. And now I'm just going to set up a very basic order form. So let's go ahead and put an advanced field with the name. We'll say also an email address. And we want to go to the pricing fields. And in here, we can see we have options for products, quantity, options, shipping, and total. So let's go ahead and just put in product. And we have some options within here. So we can set a price for a product. So we could say, like for instance, $15. And then if we wanted to, we could disable this quantity field or leave it there, depending on how you're going to set up your order form. You also have different field types. So you, instead of doing a single product, you can do a drop down to select multiple products or um, do user defined pricing. Um, you can then put in a quantity field if you want. So again, if you didn't have quantity here, you could put it there. You also have an option field, so you could add in um, you know, different upsells or things like that. And you can uh, specify a different price for each one of those options and show it as drop down, check boxes, or radio buttons. Finally, you can put in shipping, and you would want to put in your total. So that way, at the end of um, ordering the product, your um, customer will see how much it's going to cost. So let's go ahead and update this form. Now that we have the order form saved, we need to integrate this with PayPal. So we're going to click on the PayPal button under Forms, and we're going to select to create a PayPal feed. So first, you're going to want to enter in your PayPal email address. So this is where you're going to receive payments. You can then either turn it on production or test mode. Transaction type, we can choose you know, products and services, donations or subscriptions, and that just integrates into PayPal. And those just match up with the different types of uh, PayPal buttons that are available. Most of the time, you're just gonna use products and services. We're gonna select our form that we're using. And then you're going to match up the fields that you have. So I'm gonna go with first name, last name, email address. These other, form, or these other ones I did not add. I did not add address, but if you did, you could add those in there. You then have some options you can use with PayPal. If you have a certain page style in PayPal that you use, or you want to change continue button, the actual text that appears, or if you want to have a URL when someone cancels the order to go back to, you can enter those here. You then can say whether or not you want to ask the buyer for a shipping address, and if you want a note from the buyer. You then can say only send notifications, which are the Gravity Forms notifications, only when a payment is received. And this is important because if an order goes through and it's not, um, it's not processed correctly, you don't want a, um, an email going out saying that your order was processed correctly. So usually I check this to only send out if an order is received. And then you can specify what notifications to send. And finally, you can have a condition. And these conditions match up with the field. So you could say, only um, only send this through PayPal if a certain field is checked. So this could be useful if you have someone filling out a form and it's not necessarily an order form. It could just be some form for information, 
But at the bottom you say, click here if you'd like us to send you this product for $5 as well. So I'm gonna turn that off for now and click save. And now I'm going ahead and I'm going I'm going and now I'm going to go ahead and add this to a page. And I'm going to add the form to the page. Now we'll take a look at the page and we'll go ahead and do a sample order. So I'm just going to fill this out with my information. And you see when I click submit, it takes me to the PayPal order processing page where it tells me how much it's going to cost. And then I can just enter my PayPal info here to pay. And so that's how you add a product order form onto your WordPress website using Gravity Forms. If you'd like to see more of our video tutorials, be sure to visit us at mywpexpert.com or visit our YouTube channel. All right, thanks a lot and hope to see you again soon.